Welcome back to Food Chat. Hell yeah. I'm asleep. She smells the chicken and waffles. She can't. She can't help it. She's got to get up. <laughs> you got to get those tendies and uh, egos. <laughs> tendies and egos. <laughs> That's what I'm calling my food truck. <laughs> so when you get when you get a McGriddle and a side of chicken nuggets, is that kind of like chicken and waffles? <laughs> um, I mean, they do breakfast all day now. So I mean, that is true. Do they do the? I think the only McGriddle that you do all day though is the sausage one, which sucks. Uh, they they do bacon, and I get I get sausage anyway. Ugh, I hate sausage because they they actually have the bacon all the time, so you could just ask for bacon. <laughs> I mean that's true. I just I I, I I I have a like I like it's I don't like sausage on multiple levels, uh like breakfast sausage that is like uh it's one I don't like the combination of spice and like. Like I don't like the texture, and then it always, always, always gives me like the worst like breath and just ugh. like I it just like it's like the worst kind of st stomach pains. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, I love sausage. Can't get enough. I mean, like I can have like summer sausage or something like that. That's fine. I just can't have the breakfast kind. I specifically I love breakfast sausage. No, I can't do that. God damn it! Learn your yeah, lesson. Yeah, <laughs> uh, maybe I'll learn one day. You don't know. <sighs> Fuck the police. Fuck the police. Whoa! <laughs> That's what that was. Selmers! Hell yes, Summers! I forget, do you listen to Giant Bomb at all? Or watch them? Um, no. I've, I've seen a couple things with them. Uh, I, I I was huge on Dan Record back when he was in uh, Game Informer. I was really big on him back in the, the, those days. But then when he left, I kind of stopped following Game Informer. And, Dan, uh, Dan is a weird individual. That's all I'll I mean, say. that's the thing. It's like... Yeah, like, that's the thing, it's like, uh, I don't think Dan is, well, that squirrel's got really messed up nuts right there. Like, the one that's, like, kind of, that's in its mouth, and then there was another one that was just kind of floating next to it, whatever. Um, but no, like, uh, like, what happened was, uh, uh, I was really into, uh, like, because, like, it's, I have opinions that I differ with him for quite a few things, but I yeah, love Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he has very uh, weird opinions about things. Like, he doesn't like the first season of The Walking Dead by Telltale, and, like, I I disagree, but he also was pretty neat about it. He's, like, one of the people who, like, has a different kind of opinion, but isn't a jerk about it, you know? Mm -hmm. And then try he to also, be, like, some contrary asshole. He also en enjoys Mario Party? Like, some kind of monster? <laughs> Uh, I, I actually, that's one of the reasons why I love Dan, because I actually have kind of a thing for Mario Party. Like, I don't love it, but I do have a huge guilty pleasure for it, honestly. Oh, well, then you'll love how he made the rest of the staff play all of the Mario Parties, and they were Oh, no, fine. no, I, I, I loved it back when he did that in Game Informer, too. <laughs> like, uh, 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 but, uh, but anyway, um, we're kind of digressing from the original point I was trying to make, which was uh, they talked a lot about this game in uh, the Game of the Year deliberations this year. Everybody seemed to be like super in on it. That's good. Yeah, which I mean, I know which... I know Scott is like a friend of like Alex Navarro and stuff. So Right. I mean, like it's it makes me kind of sad that uh like the McElroys didn't seem to be really hot on this game. Yeah, that's a sh kind of a shame. But I kind of blame it cuz Justin's kind of a parent now <laughs> and he kind of didn't really get the rebellion that was kind of going on here. I mean, I feel like like your his your own personal history never goes away. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, like I, I twenty guess. twenty years from now, I'm still gonna remember how much of a fucking idiot I was in two thousand two thousand seven two thousand eight. Like, I mean, that's fair, but like, I don't know. I like I um there there is some sort of kind of like it. it this game is sure about a concept that is kind of popular which is you know uh you know rebellion at the teenage years and how it sucks being a teenager in a lot of ways but it's also a very modern version of that where it actually acknowledges the problems that our generation is specifically going through that other generations yeah. haven't and well i mean justin's only a couple years older than me so is he? i'm 30 i'm i'm griffin well, no age. he's like 37 <laughs> 
I thought he was 36. No, well, whatever. Well, he, still, he, that's still, that's still close enough where I think you could, like, make the argument that, the, like, those problems are still happening and were still happening. I mean, I guess, but, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I just, I don't know. It's, it, it I, 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 I just, he just seemed to not really understand the part of it, and, like... But then he also listed West of Loathing as one of his top games of the year, so I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, like this guy, man, I don't know. Um, I actually haven't. I, I don't, actually did get West of Loathing not too long ago. I haven't gotten very far, honestly. Um, it's uh, it's it... not for everyone. I'll tell you right now. So if you're bouncing off of it, that's totally fine. But I enjoyed it a lot. Right. I mean, like, I I, I think it's I, I I like the humor of it a lot already. Um. I am not very far at all. I, like, literally just barely started. Like, I chose my class, and that was about it. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so you're not even out of the tutorial town yet? No, I, well, I mean, I, I got out of my home, and now I'm in the town where I went straight into the bar, and then I needed to get a hat. Yeah, that's the tutorial that town. It. Yeah, I haven't gotten out of the tutorial town at all. I'm not even all right. close. Alright, um, I, I encourage you to play a little more. I do. I do want to play more. Uh, I also really liked the other game we liked, which was uh, Kingsway. I, I, I just got that as well. Yeah, see, and... I'd never heard of Kingsway, so I'm going to check that out at some point. It's actually really rad. Um, it, or it, it's, it makes me super nostalgic for how old Windows computers used to be like, mm -hmm. in a lot of ways. Uh, like, just from the interface. And it really does feel like you're kind of, like, micromanaging uh, a... Uh, like a... Like, it really does like you're micromanaging a bunch of like OS's at its same operating systems, and oh, that's a new bunny. Yeah, but I can't talk to her. Huh? I need. They didn't. Huh? I didn't even know they had lop bunnies. Oh my god, I love it. Loppy ear bunnies. Yeah, they're my they're my favorite. <laughs> How many bunnies are there? There's just like the weird teen and that. There's the weird teen, her. And then, I guess, the food donkey robot, if you want to count that! Technically... <laughs> I highly identify with that deer. <gasps> yes, more grandpa stories. If I wanted people to not listen, I wouldn't do Let's Plays and also a podcast, so... <laughs> well, I mean, me, when I was... Like, I mean, when I'm in public, you know? Mm. I'm not in, like, my little space where I can be a weirdo. <laughs> Alright. New content. New content. Hey, Miss Rosa, check feeling. this out. <laughs> check out my check out my cool crime. Check out this cool crime before you go down this mortal coil. Leave this mortal. Uh, but uh, I have a feeling I know where her little thing is gonna go to, and I'm really not looking forward to it. Mm, well, it hasn't happened yet. What I've played so far. Okay, that's good. I'm really scared. <laughs> I love how fucking huge she is in that. <laughs> yeah. Just like weird mini game conceits like that are so good. <laughs> it reminds me of like, I don't know why, it reminds me of like that one SpongeBob thing. Oh god, like she basically looks like SpongeBob from the side when the, in that mini game. That's what. It yeah, looks kinda, like. kinda, yeah. <laughs> Like any of those weird close-ups of SpongeBob, where like he's everything looks too 
tight and realistic and stuff at times. I don't know. <laughs> Go to Choich. I will, nice. on the way back. Who's out here? Oh yeah, it's just gonna be him again. Yep. If you look real close, you can see the sex number. Where's that? Let me look at that. Yeah, I do see the sex number! Hell yeah, right next to the skull! Yeah! I'm gonna fuck that skull. Um. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I mean <laughs> why do I say things sometimes? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> God, this game is fucking gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, it is. I just gotta remark that every once in a while. <laughs> when I hear the typing that you do there, like, I, I, it just it reminds me of freaking Second Life. The clickety clack. The clickety clack. I'm online. The I'm getting Hacker's online. Voice. Hacker voice. I'm in. Now that just makes me think of Rocco Bodie in the fucking trench coat, just trying to type on all the printers at Staples. <laughs> oh jeez. Pastor K. God, I wish we were less of a jerk to her. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Oh. So I guess one of those is the basement. I presume so. And I figured, oh, there's a, there's a meeting in the basement. Maybe I can go check it out. No. Damn. Torment me with new content and then not let me access it. God damn it, Scott. <laughs> it, sh it should be like, uh, what is it? Uh, God, what is it? There, what was the game where you could like jump really, really high, and then just kind of like, when when you fall down, you just completely like beef it. Like oh god, what was it? It was like a it didn't really have much of a consequence, but it was like something you could. Oh crap! What was it? Oh yeah, that's right. I was that's right. I was thinking Metal Gear Solid <laughs> Three, where you could roll and then just completely fuck up if you tried to roll downstairs. Oh yeah. Technically, there are a lot of games where you could beef it if you just jump really high down. I just yeah. For example, the Rocket Power video game on the Nintendo GameCube. <laughs> God, I actually once like, I was so excited to get uh, the Rocket Power game for the PS2 because it was basically supposed to be like Tony Hawk, but with Rocket Power. And I was like a kid who was just super into Rocket Power at the time because I was into Tony Hawk. So it was this weird Ouroboros that was going on there, um, mm -hmm. and. Uh, then I got the game, and I could never beat it because it was stupid, stupidly difficult. <laughs> yeah, that's, no, yeah, that's a bad video game. 
Yeah, it's a very my, under, my understanding is if you go into the swimming pool uh, before you get your skateboard, you're stuck there forever. <laughs> <laughs> so That's incredible. <laughs> there's no way to get out without the skateboard. <laughs> oh yeah. Gonna hang out with Lorian. Lori M's coming to HDQ with me, and we're gonna get really drunk. She's too young! Eh, she's fine. No! Don't do it! I'm gonna call the cops! Don't you dare. Okay, I won't call the cops, but... I, I will call her parents. <laughs> Alright. They can come, too. No! That's not what I want! <laughs> she's too pure, you cannot let her. You want a party? I'll party with you if you uh, just not yeah, her. Come on down. Come on down. Fine. Oh, fine. Okay. I'll come on down. That speech bubble reads exactly like an Austin Walker tweet. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen a take so bad you're forced immediately to go to sleep? <laughs> God. Same. Yeah, like, um, God, it's, it's, I have no idea if this is like, I don't know. Well, basically, like, one of the reasons why I love this kind of, this, the stuff with Laurie and May is that, uh, it really, really, like, kind of reflects a lot of, like, me talking to people who are younger than me who just are, like, I see a lot of myself in them. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I want, I want to be kind of there to help them you know, be good at what they do. I, I know several people that are much younger than me who are in that, and I, I, like, it really reflects how I feel. Like, that, that conversation about, like, yeah, nobody know, likes what they look like when they're younger. Like, that's totally something I've had talked about with someone uh, who is much younger than me. So... Oh. <laughs> and it, it, it's 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 really heartwarming in a way that like very few things are like it it really reflects a lot of like my own personal experiences in a lot of ways yeah yeah i feel you i'm picking up what you're putting down mm -hmm. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. Yeah. Bye, nerd. Bye, B. We'll catch you in the alternate reality where I restore my save game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Oh. <laughs> I like how you were about to go away because you thought it was going to be the deer woman again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, no, it's Angus. I like him. Yeah, that, that's the guy who actually talks other than outside of speech, like little picture gra pictographs. <laughs> Bye, the cute little adorable boy. I love him. Sweet, sweet boy. That we must protect. <laughs> we must stay, keep him away. Otter! <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> He's gay. Yup. You like representation, right? Because I like it. Hell yeah! Not only not only is it representation of a cute gay guy, it's also a cute gay otter, which is great. Which works on multiple levels. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm so happy there's an otter in Night in the Woods now. <laughs> I'm still kind of reeling that there's otters in Night in the Woods now. <laughs> Alright, but you need to calm down. <laughs> I really like otters. I can't help it. They're like little water tubes, and they're great. And he was gay. He was gay. Which is great. Oh, come on. Yes, good. Always spend time with Germ. Always. Because he doesn't really affect the other timelines. <laughs> yeah, no, he doesn't end the day like hanging out with B or Greg does. <laughs> this is also one of my favorite sequences in this game. I barely remember this. It was pretty easy to miss. germ oh good old germ i have to go <laughs> yeah i definitely missed that <laughs> such a good moment though it is a good moment definitely i'm not disagreeing i just missed it because <laughs> i think i, I think that's why point, it's I, sad that you missed it like i think at this point i still thought that hanging out with him would be like uh that it would end it, the day? Yeah. And I wanted to hang out with some of my other peeps. I think at this point I was feeling bad because I hung out with... Uh, I hung out with Greg when B was having a bad time. And, uh... I don't know. I, I felt really guilty. I thought I needed to hang out with her today. Hmm.
<laughs> I mean, same. May is correct though. If it's just if it's just milk and sugar, it tastes great. Uh, yeah, but I'm on Greg's side that it's putting so much effort to make something taste just okay. <laughs> eh, I like coffee. Uh, I'm I'm more of a tea boy here, so. I remember when I first saw this, uh, I was like, man, this Greg is going really fast up hills. Like, he must have, like, a motorized thing on it. And then it turned out, oh, wait, that's immediately what they say right away afterwards. Yep. This is such a freaking gorgeous shot, too. Oh, my God. Yeah. I would get a uh, framed art of this. Like, if they if got, like, prints of, like, scenes from the game. I think this would make, like, a good phone background. Good phone background, uh, good wall art, uh, good for a lot of things, honestly. Mm-hmm. Does go on for a bit, but I, I don't yeah, know. Well, it's, it's so fine. gorgeous. It's such gorgeous. It's, it's great music, uh, gorgeous art, and my favorite boy, so... I, I can't complain too much. <laughs> and he's not wrong. And we're going to the night in here for the night. So there you go. The Wiggles. The Wiggles. I too bad I'm going to have to hurt that boy. Yeah, too bad. <laughs> Greg fact. Greg owns at least two knives. <laughs> I mean, I believe it. One for each sleeve. <laughs> also, this mini game's a lot harder than I remember. Yeah, this game this actually is a really tough mini game. That one should be counted. Oh. Uh, I actually don't blame uh I don't blame it if you ended up losing this one. <laughs> no, I win. It's just... Uh, oh. oh, spoilers! First, the first time I did this, it was not this hard. I don't understand. Jesus, you're both going to be extremely fucked up by the end of the day. Yes. Oh, Jesus. I was gonna ask, do people really do this? But then, yeah, no, they literally of anything they I could do. ask. Anything I could ask anyone about this, yes, that is people do do this. That's true of literally everything. That is the, that is because of the law of numbers. <laughs> sure. We have defeated the Greg. Hell yeah! Now I'm the new Greg. <laughs> Cut off his head, come the new Greg. <laughs> I was just gonna assume his identity. You had to go and make it violent. Well, I'm just making Highlander references. You're the one that's talking about making an actual crime.
Top 12 anime deaths. <laughs> Let's keep adding to the list. <laughs> Can you guess what's at number one? I mean, like... I, technically, this would be, like, considering how many times you failed the stair minigame. This is, like, top 15 anime deaths at this point, I think. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm only counting when Greg gets hurt, though. <laughs> I love it when little sticks go by. When, like, they're, you walk around. I love it. Yeah. It's a very nice touch. It's, it's like, I'm, I'm big on small details nobody else would notice unless you are paying way too much attention to something. Like, if a movie, like, if I can watch a movie or play a game, like, uh, several times, and each time come away with something new that I just noticed, uh, you know that was there the entire time, but I just didn't really pay attention to it. Uh, that means I really, really like it. <laughs> <laughs> also, of course, Greg would have crossbow. No, no, no! If you actually do it, I'm gonna be so sad. Ugh. Damn it. I just wanna see if you can. The answer is no, you can't. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I'd be so pissed. Shoot that butt. Shoot that butt. Maybe I will. Shoot that butt. We're trying to murder. You can't stop me. You're gonna kill. You're gonna kill Germ's parents. There we go. Butt shot. I mean, Greg is probably a vampire. Uh, May has a vampire in her family. Do you not remember the vampire oh, magician? Yeah, that's true. That's true. So, yeah, I mean, I guess that is technically canon by your books. So, yeah, but it's like an Alucard situation. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> this vampire fights for good. That's my favorite moment in the game, actually, is when, like, May... Like, what, it's like, because this all this tutorial stuff here, it's actually really clever how it, like, just disguises itself as, like, a game about uh, depression and uh, and anxiety about how our uh, world is kind of falling apart uh, and how capitalism is basically sap dry all these communities to their bare bones. Uh, and it ends up just being a vampire killing simulator. Yeah, it turns out this is just Bloodborne too. Yeah. Uh, no, this is, uh, if it was Bloodborne 2, then be about, uh, werewolves. This is more, uh, let's see. This is the new Blood Rain. This is the Blood Rain reboot. Oh, no. <laughs> May then just, like, puts on, like, a ridiculous outfit and then poses for Playboy. Oh, no. <laughs> God, remember when Mark Simpson was in Playboy? No. Yeah, there was a there was a part where uh, there was a time when uh, for like a thing on The Simpsons, I was like, well, actually, a few years ago, uh, they actually had pinups of Marge Simpson, and yes, they oh. were naked. Like you could see her boobs. 
Hey, heterosexuals, can you stop? <laughs> <laughs> like, like it didn't. Like, basically, she had like a thin linen silk thing that covered her breast, but you could see her fucking nipples. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, like, okay, uh, I guess we're at this point in our history where we can do this. <laughs> I don't think we are. I think this was a mistake. <laughs> I think God. society was a mistake. <laughs> Look, it's I've seen worse on DeviantArt. <laughs> yeah, but DeviantArt isn't like sold in convenience stores across the country. That is fair. Do we miss the ass line? Um. Not yet, I don't think. Okay. Does it, I'm, I'm talking about Marge, Marge Simpson's boobs while Greg is talking about his bipolar depression. <laughs> and it's like, okay. I really, really am just kind of selling this really wonderful moment. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I guess we did miss the uh, line. Damn, damn it. Oh, well. Well, he I does have I'll a great have, ass. I have to fantasize about Angus's ass in private. I mean, I already do, so... Uh, okay. Greg's happy's okay. Greg's sad's okay. Mm. Look, don't, don't, don't pretend you're not the thing that you are. <laughs> uh, just gonna unplug my external hard drive real quick. <laughs> Too late. I've already hacked into it. I'm gonna. I'm oh gonna no! Post, I'm gonna post all of the Angus porn that you have. Mm, I could use more. I mean, who wouldn't? Like, who doesn't? <laughs> I, 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 wow, I'm really fucking up English right now. <laughs> That's okay. Speaking of nonsense. Noises from the mouth. Garbo Malloy. <laughs> hey! Hey! That's a whopper. Me, whenever I look at the mirror. <laughs> Also, same. Don't at me. <laughs> I mean, this entire LP just comes with a giant disclaimer of don't at me about <laughs> anything we talk about. <laughs> Forget you've seen this. <laughs> In fact, don't watch these videos. It probably shouldn't. <laughs> Hey, kid. <laughs> God, I, 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 all of the. I think that one. I think perfect. that one was new, actually. Uh, no, actually, I think that one's the one that exists uh, existed. Uh, it's just so freaking real, honestly. I'll be shocked if uh, that doesn't happen, at least in San Francisco. 
All right, good night, me. Spooky. That was, that was a spooky noise. Oh god, I remember I was stuck on this one for a while, because I couldn't make this, several this, of the jumps. This one's really confusing. Yeah. I, I couldn't figure out where they were supposed to go, and... You know, I, I do appreciate that Scott did put... Or, you know, I guess it was Scott, but... Um, we were putting the uh, the uh, little lamps to tell you exactly where you go, because otherwise I would have no fucking idea of where I've been mm -hmm. and not. Yeah. Also, is that the, supposed to be the wolf dude from the... Uh, Lost Constellation. I don't know, because everybody's just like a shadow, it's hard to tell. Yeah, I mean, it's just he has a very similar sort of pipe kind of situation is all. Bit of this, because I, I like I like the saxophone accordion combo. That's it's pretty good. Need. That's all we need, honestly. Uh. So, like, I mean, I think all these dreams are supposed to represent something. Uh. I'm, I'm like, I think... Um, this one is probably the one that's probably the most obvious of what it's supposed to be trying to be about, in a way. Uh, it's about a train! Yeah, it's about a choo-choo train, and that trains are cool. Um, well, no, this is just the... the, the this is just a, uh, the video game adaptation of Snowpiercer, so... <laughs> um... My, my furry fan fiction version of Snowpiercer. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell if you won't. Ooh. And then it gets really, uh... Spoilers, it then turns very, very... Sexy. By the end. Oh, good. I kind of had a joke there, but I kind of lost it. I don't know. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's basically 90% of my humor. I had a joke there, but I lost it. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. I mean, it's not when I when I'm supposed to be a guy who's making a podcast semi-professionally. So, <laughs> eh. I'm very low effort. <laughs> on everything I do, so... Fair enough. And four. Uh... Later, folks. Bye. Bye.